Welcome back to the channel, lads and ladies, and welcome to Answers from the Developers, starring Vyacheslav Bulenikov, BVVD. Players asking questions? Whip out the D. Okay, <laughs> now the baby didn't like that one. Next, meme. Armored vehicles. Do you plan to add any upgrade packages? <laughs> Modifications for the M1A1 and Challenger 2, such as the M1A1HA or the Chally 2 Theater Entry Standard kits, or maybe even the Megatron da -da 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 modification. Perhaps as separate machines entirely. Leading question! Vyacheslav, would you like to advertise the tanks that are clearly coming to the game in the nearest update? His answer. We are not excluding additional modifications for British and American tanks. So, it's possible that maybe, potentially, British and American tanks can have an add-on armor upgrade modification, bringing them into line with a bit of the power creep we've been seeing in the game, especially at top tier. However, later versions of the Chally 2, such as Megatron, if they're added, will most likely be introduced as separate vehicles. So, look forward to the Chally 2 Megatron and the Abrams HA with depleted uranium armor add-on as separate vehicles in the near future. That's how I read that. Get hyped. Sorry, it's just hard for me to get hyped for the Abrams these days. <laughs> I'm over it. I like it. It's not the... Excuse me. It's not the best. Adding more armor is not going to change that. Is there a SAM anti-air plan for Italy and Japan? Yes. You have already implemented the mechanics of changing vehicle construction, raising the armor shields. So add on armor. Uh, do you plan to develop further... For example, by giving the Kami the ability to float, which is an add-on modification in real life. Maybe, but not in any nearest plans. Gaijin doesn't care about the Kami, okay? You don't need um, the voice of a generation, a genius gay fish, to tell you that the Kami is not a vehicle Gaijin plans on spending time developing. It's just not worth it. Let's move on. Aircraft questions. The T2 is a very powerful aircraft in game that's so much better and there's nothing I can do about it. How about introducing more awesome aircraft? Answer. Obviously, yes. We love money. Next question. Do you have further plans for any more Hawker Hunter variants? Answer. We do not have any more plans regarding this unexceptional aircraft you have enough variants already question gaiji dad can we have more hawker hunter gaijin's answer we have hawker hunter at home <laughs> next question do you still have plans to continue updating older aircraft models like you did with the u87 the he 111 the f4u the hurricane and the spitfire they have mentioned in a much earlier uh, dev blog or Q&A that there is a P47 update coming where they will also introduce the Razorback P47 and here their answer is we have no immediate plans in the very near future but we are going to work on some things into the future look forward to that question why is there an LTADS in the Mi-35 and 24B and the FJ-4B? ATGMs fly pretty well without it. The presence of LTADS on these vehicles is an error and it will be fixed in an upcoming future update. So these vehicles do not use the laser designator and that mechanic will be removed from those vehicles. Helicopters! How do you plan to develop Helicopter EC in the future, or are you done with it? Answer, we're always trying to improve the game modes. Keep your eyes peeled. So, 
We'll see. I'm actually very happy with the changes that have come to Heli EC. Having been there from the beginning, even before the EC mode was the main way to play, I've got to say that it is actually a very fun game mode now if you are willing to accept the BR compression that bottom tier helicopters get thrown in with top tier helicopters there are things you can do you're talking to somebody that ground through the entire American American helicopter tree with almost exclusively the AH-1G and a little bit of fooling around in the Huey XM-30 which was a huge steaming pile of trash when I played it and it still pretty much is but it's a fun pile of trash Okay. Oh, and the uh, the top tier American Viper in Heli EC is just a complete joy to play. I recommend loading up the eight ATGM Tow Twos. Uh, probably not the rockets. They're not all that necessary. And use those air to air missiles. Learn to kill people with your toes. And in a worst case scenario your minigun 20 mil cannon is not terrible but you'll probably die anyway lots of video on that let's move on do you plan to add full helicopter lines for Italy and Japan or can we only buy the weeb copter and not research anything with it add infinitum and guy jiggles says we plan to add helicopter branches for each nation in the game so kind of not the best answer I'd like to hear them say something like oh we forgot to give you something to actually research with the weeb copter it's coming in the next update but you know this is the answer you would expect they're gonna give everybody helicopters as part of a regular tech tree look forward to that also look forward to 15 to 20 maybe 25 dollars for the for the premium helicopters that'll come with those trees as inflation hits War Thunder in the future. Just being honest. <laughs> Next question. Can you tell us anything about British helicopters? They're coming. Stay tuned. Navy question. Uh, do you plan to adjust the RP requirements for rank 1 to 2 vessels? So the answer to this one is no. Stop whining, <laughs> basically. So the way that naval research trees work in War Thunder is unnecessarily different than the way it works for other vehicles. And it's a legacy of when naval trees were really small and restricted. There wasn't a lot of variety. And so they organized the trees in a little bit different way so that you couldn't get to the end of your research for whatever thing you wanted at the top quite so quickly. I think that's the reason. Again, I think it's needlessly complicated, but Gaijin is committed to the research tree format that they have, and that means that high battle rating vehicles of a certain type can be at tier 1 or 2 for some of the lighter craft, uh, but they have good performance and they are effectively top tier vehicles even if that's not what their actual tier says so they have the rp and silver line cost to represent that question if that sounds overly complicated like i said that's the way it is it is too complicated but they're sticking with it for now and you know what that's okay if you really enjoy those vehicles you'll get through the grind if you don't enjoy naval well stop playing <laughs> getting to the next vehicle is not going to make your experience any better uh, question can you tell us honestly naval forces is the most fun at uh low to mid tier the high tier stuff i i personally i think that it's not quite as enjoyable but that is an opinion uh, can you tell us anything about new game modes, objectives, or events for naval battles? Perhaps the return, once again, of convoy mode? Convoy mode has come and gone, come and gone. And the reason that they keep taking it out of the game is it's highly exploitable. The convoys uh, travel in a straight line, which can be predicted, and experienced players can just launch a few torpedoes and wait for the match to end in five minutes when their torps get on target. 
that is not exciting and engaging gameplay. It's sort of along the lines of bomber squads that could end matches in five minutes, and it's not what Gaijin's going for, so they need to work on that. Um, and that's why Convoy Mode is currently not in the game, or at least at the time of the asking of the question. <laughs> like I said, it pops in, it disappears again, because Gaijin doesn't know how to make that mode work. Um, and they're still working on naval stuff, as they are with all their game modes. You know, Gaijin says they love all their kids, but ARB's sitting there in a corner, right? Cutting their self. <laughs> Anyway, I shouldn't laugh about that. Let's move on. Uh, how do you rate the number of air? Oh, it's a question. How do you rate the number of aircraft in naval battles? So this is a guy complaining about aircraft. He doesn't like getting killed by aircraft. Is the is the long and short of the answer. And Gaijin's answer, or Vyacheslav Bulandikov's answer, is we're paying attention to the stats, and right now aircraft are okay. And honestly, I, I think that's the case. There are vehicles with very powerful anti-aircraft guns, and aircraft do not survive long in higher tier naval battles where those vehicles show up. And at the lower tiers, aircraft have to play their cards right, or they end up getting shredded just by sheer volume of fire that naval vessels are able to produce. At the lower tiers, in certain aircraft, you can totally clean up a match from the sky. But that's rare, and it's sort of the way it is in ground forces as well. So it's 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 basically equivalent. And uh, my, my five-month-old baby has just successfully cocooned herself in the blanket, and she's starting to panic, so I'll be back in a second. Okay. So... The monitor class. Yeah, it's probably coming eventually. Japanese cruisers, especially the top tier, are not credible, says this next question. So basically, Japanese top tier naval, not doing so well. What kind of new vehicles can we expect? Is it possible we could see cruisers like the Mogami and its variants in light and heavy? So... Fans of Japanese naval forces were looking forward to much more famous vessels that they have not seen with the release of Japanese naval forces. They were hoping to yeet on those American Navy boys because Japanese gunships were famously, uh, we'll call this designed for dominance in World War II. And yet those variants that would stand out did not come to the game. And what we have is not doing well. Uh, Vyacheslav's answer. Uh, the damage models. The performance of semi-armor piercing ammunition was not what they wanted it to be. It wasn't up to par. There are some changes in the game that are intended to improve the performance of Japanese top tier naval vessels right now and they're looking at the stats. So they admit that Japanese cruisers are not performing the way they expected them to, they're not doing as well as they expected them to, and they're making adjustments. No mention of new vessels, they're looking to improve the ones that are currently in the game for now. And I would not expect to see the more famous Japanese vessels come to the game until the power level uh, rises to where they would be competitive and not overpowering. So, Monitor and the Mogami coming in the future, I'm sure. Other questions. USSR, USA, Britain, and Germany have possible setups with three vehicles at each rank of the same BR. At the same time, France, Italy, and Japan, only in ground vehicles, have big gaps in the middle of the research trees or just one vehicle. In other words, you can make a bigger lineup with some of these major nations. Uh, will an attempt be made to fix this problem? Answer, historically, gaps were present in reality, which is reflected in the game, but we always strive to fill these gaps practically. So, there is the historical aspect of certain lineups just not being all that competitive historically. And so you'll have to play something else. And not every nation needs to have a huge lineup to back it up. 
but in the game it's very helpful just with the way that the game is structured to have a variety of vehicles with similar battle performance to choose from and Gaijin does plan on introducing new vehicles to the surprise of no one. A question. In combined SB, it isn't possible to see German trophy vehicles uh, like these two here. Uh, will you take a look at this concern? And the answer is, we try to add as few as possible trophy vehicles to the game modes without markers because this leads to accidental team kills. So the answer is, uh, we try not to put too many of them in and we understand that captured aircraft are difficult to identify properly. So the answer is, they're not going to do anything about it. They just want to minimize the effect. Uh, question. Sweden had a lot of interesting vehicles. When is the Swedish Tech Tree coming out? Answer. Uh, it's one of the primary candidates to be added as a new game nation. Now, if you excuse me, as you can hear, i got to get back to doing daddy stuff. That is a hungry baby.